Well, I like the t this team name, unnamed bang attempt number seven. No idea who it is. It's Tom with an H. And he's got a starting team with two fun factor. 110, purposely not buying an apothecary to control TV. Interesting decision. Hopefully he doesn't scum a wizard. That would be very antisocial. He doesn't, he just gets a babe. Probably would have been better off with an apple. I'm surprised, I'd, I'd just get an apple, mate. Just get an apple. Just get an apple, mate. Does Tom with an H complain about matchups, does he? Or just because it's dwarves versus chaos? He's got strength, though, but I guess I've got some skills. Anti Dapper. Glorious. Um, do I want a kick? I don't want to see him bang him out. I'm tempted to receive and just bang him out. Hello. Hello. Get an apple. I just want to tell them to get an apple. <laughs> Three guards and a mighty. I should just bang him out on offense, right? <laughs> yep. Instantly was the answer. Oh, he's got, we've got the Gdanik set up. I wonder if you saw that on YouTube. Sunny doesn't matter. Punch. Nothing. Yeah, this is a this is a gym half all right. Hitting defenseless beastman and doing absolutely bot all. Imagine making that many 75. How many was that? Four, five, six 75% blocks. 
not one knockdown. Six seventy five per cent block. What is even the chance of that? Four times six. It's ridiculous, isn't it? What's that? One in four thousand. A one in four thousand start. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, about sending a message. <laughs> Be nice to me. Oh, did Carnite beat? Did, did Carnite draw? I thought I thought Chunter had won. Did Carnite one turn or a riot? Yeah, two two. Ah. I literally thought Chunter was going to win every single game. <laughs> A one in four thousand start. That's crazy, isn't it? And then he he pals, he pals the fifty five percent, which you know isn't unlikely, but funny. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The old line of dwarfs. Hopefully, the guard and stuff can do something. Oh god, this weekend I played in a tournament and faced off against a lizard man. His team was aliens themed. Face huggers for skinks, aliens for saurus, and a queen for the croxagore. Oh my god, if anyone did that versus me, I would not be happy. Hello Enzo. Mm. 
I really like to uh, blitz with mighty blow. But blitzing for position is exciting, isn't it? Stick him on him, maybe. <sighs> Four days to watch twenty minutes. Oh dear. Hello, Wolf. Banger Dwarf, not leveling any time soon, I don't think. <coughs> I love how everybody in the Blood Bowl 3 Discord has just decided that Games Workshop has made cyanide making like the models, you know. It's gonna be amazing, guys! Fucking big old dummies. Like, no one's got any proof, you know? There's just somebody said it, I guess. And everyone just thinks it. Try a jam in somewhere. I mean, I want to, so I guess that's enough reason, isn't it? Sure, there's no funny business. Get back to the middle. Yes, Pedro, yeah. Yeah, the Blood Bowl 3 is really hard to play. You're just battling against the controls. I think the time limits would be okay if the controls were better. He'll get used to it. He'll get used to it. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, well that's definitely gonna happen. And these idiots who seem to think it's a good thing. Like there's just literally people playing who are that dumb that they think that, you know, this terrible stuff is a good idea because sometimes it will benefit them. Like, I can't even imagine being that selfish. Like, it will benefit me. It will definitely benefit me more than it punishes me. Like, I know that for sure. But it's still fucking terrible, isn't it? <laughs> like, it's still obviously fucking terrible thing to have. I should have gone in here. The problem with the game looking shit is the individual things look good, right? The individual things look good. When you look at everything zoomed in, it all looks pretty good. It all actually looks pretty good when it's zoomed in. Hello, flicky flack. And this all looks pretty bad, right? Look how blurry. These guys are so blurry. And like, the field's blurry. And like, everything's blurry. And then you zoom in and it's detailed, right? But when you zoom out, it's blurry. But in their game, it's hyper detailed all the time in Blood Bowl 3. And the pitch is hyper detailed all the time. And it's terrible. Yeah, the player cards are terrible as well. Right? I mean, most of it just looks terrible. It looks terrible overall. Hey. Yeah, seven seven year old it is now, Pedro. Yeah, I mean we could just couldn't get that though, right? Because everyone who worked on Blood Bowl 2 was gone and stuff. So that was never an option. I just had to base up and get my whole team knocked down because they're all strength four. I guess I've just got to try and pick a side now with half my team on the floor. Which doesn't seem great, does it? Yeah, the old dwarf Dacker. He hasn't had to use any, any re-rolls on like, all of his blocks. Which you would have hoped would have been a thing, or his dodges. Like, to be fair, I guess a game where you put everything your opponent does works is going to be difficult. <laughs> to be fair... They are mountain elves. Belgian Gimli. Oh, it's a cheer face. Let me move them first. Alright. Look a dog dip.
Yeah, what a noob. It means he can probably go for the win now. I'll receive and bang him out, and I've done absolutely fucking nothing to him. <laughs> oh, dear. should I have done? I really don't know. Broken some armour? Had him fail anything? I guess those two things would have been good. But without that... Difficult. Maybe I should have kicked. Maybe I should have kicked. Oh, I can space cadet him. No, he can't reach. Hello, Julie. Yeah, he's done the right things. Like it's been it's been relatively easy for him because he hasn't really failed anything. And I haven't done anything, but yeah, he's got in the way. He has certainly got in the way. Completely. Finally. I just got a one day. I mean, there's nothing for it, is there? But potato. Easy. Shit off, of course. Dicid. Doesn't get the knockdown, amazing. Maybe I shouldn't have covered him because I could have then put two on him. Oh, thanks, Fluxstream. <laughs> Shit off. <laughs> No. 
This long beard's in range. Of course he piles. Still in range? Still in range, doesn't push to here. Some people would say that was a very bad push direction. Maybe he misclicked. I've done that before. Man, I really need him to like fail any dice rolls. He's refusing to comply though. He is absolutely refusing to comply with failing any dice rolls ever. <laughs> what is this? Three, 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 three. It's still not hard, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. No, not as hard as it could be. No, but it's still pretty hard, isn't it? Do I just assist there and then pick up Blitz? If I pow, then he could 1D Blitz him, which is better. But if I push, we've got two dice, there's more chance of getting the pow. I don't know why I didn't make that too now. I like I, that my plan was to make it too, I don't know why. Why I didn't make it too. I just pretend I was less lucky. It should just be a two, shouldn't it? Okay, good. Well, just rolling good is the way to go. Fuck off. <laughs> He's a nice guy, isn't he, Tom with an H? Not what I would have done. Who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> he did waste all of his dodges, yeah. Imagine rolling all of those dice and just not defending it. <laughs> yes, he could have just picked the ball up. He could have walled it off. He could have pushed the runner out of range. Defending um, the ball is super easy. Well, yours, well, your moves weren't the best. Yeah, not screened off from not. He, he wasted two players screened absolutely literally nothing. So like, he could have screened. He could have pushed the right direction. He could have fouled. He could have picked it up. He could have screened not from nothing. Yeah, there's like, it was terrible. Like, even though it was like a kind of crazy sequence of dice rolls, when you do literally nothing <laughs> to defend. Um, mm. 
then didn't run out of time, what a bad ass. Like, it, it was lucky, especially as I fucked up not making the first one 2D. Like, I definitely should have made the first hit 2D. There was no, nothing to gain from not doing that. Sick is playing Kaz. Four. Four, is Kaz streaming it? We need Cobra Kaz streaming the SFL. He's not. Jim Shad. Good night, Pedro. I will fucking drop kick Jesus. Yeah, because like, that should have been better, right? Like, I made the wrong play. I made it a 33% chance of knockdown when it could have been a 55%. Well, in fact, 75%, right? So yeah, it was it was 55. It was 50% with a one day, and it should have been 75. So that was my bad. I didn't play it perfectly, but they. It, but even if I had, if I had played it perfectly, which you should expect your opponent to do, then it's like a seventy-five percent knockdown into four plus pickup with a reroll, and a one D that needs to be a three plus, and then maybe no dodge at all, right? So like, and the, and then the hit could be a five plus, and then there's no dodge at all. A three plus, it's a three plus. Like it was, it was a super easy touchdown. Like really. Uh, don't know what the odds are, but it was. I'm sure it was pretty likely, especially if you play it properly. Because um, you've got you've got other you've got other chances, right? If it doesn't work, so that doesn't tell you. It's probably it's probably nearer fifty percent because you've got backups. You've got backups and all sorts. So like, it's really hard to. You can't work it out on Sander. It would be a right baller to work it out. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? That'd have been really good if we kept him out. Oh, and it was his babe as well. Jesus. Yeah, that was a that was a real bad turn. Trained a manatee. I don't have to be that good versus chaos. The trident. I like the trident, funnily enough. Well, it doesn't really look like a trident, does it? You, you need the uh, you need the split LOS to make it look like a trident. I really like that defense. But, uh, I think tight is probably better. <laughs> My team would probably play better. Ouch! Ouch! Yeah, it's weird. It's weird, isn't it? The the mentoring, especially on Rebel, right? Where like if they're not keen, they've got they've got to be keen to learn, haven't they? That's the thing. Um, they've got to. They've got to uh, be keen to learn. Is the biggest thing, and like willing to listen and everything, and that's it. Which is why I think. Which is why I think paying for coaching is the best. Because if somebody pays, then they, f they should be keen, right? <laughs> they should be keen. Whereas just helping people in Rebel just seems fucking stupid because they probably don't give a fuck. Yeah. 
Oh god, yeah, the Blood Bowl 3 coaching session is going to cost a fortune. Hello, fine here. And also Steam Funk. How exciting. How interesting. Yeah, Fahimir, I'm a lunatic. I haven't really enjoyed any games. <laughs> but I've won them all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just, uh, you know, soldiering on. Oh, the chalice recap song. I want to watch that, even though I've seen every fucking match anyway. <laughs> Casted every match. <laughs> But it's just good, isn't it, with Dimmy and Dimmy and Elliot? Next SFL match, I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> it's versus Tren, and she hasn't played her game versus Milkman of Death yet. She has to play Milkman of Death, and then I can play her. So there you go. Yeah, fair enough, Woof, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But also, like, they're just not that, yeah, you mean, I guess that's what you mean. Like, why get a GM to teach you how the nightmare is, you know? Yeah, chicken and broccoli vouchers. I do like, well, I don't like broccoli, but it's good for you, isn't it? I do like chicken and rice. I like chicken and rice. I don't like broccoli, but it's good for you. Is he going quick? Is he literally going for the win? Should I let him? Like, surely I can't be that unlucky again. Surely. Well, I can get cast instantly. But I mean, you can't just allow it, because they've still got to go for it. <laughs> Haven't they? I never understand this, like, allow the score. When people say, I'd allow the score, it's like, they've still got to go for it, though. Yeah, but this, you've still got to rely on them going for it. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? You've got to, like... You've got to do something, haven't you? So now here he can blitz there and GFI handoff and score. And you can't let them score, so you've got to, like, shepherd them into the end zone. But even then, if they don't want to be shepherded into the end zone, then you can't shepherd them into the end zone. So it's not as easy as just let them score. 
And if you make it look too obvious, they'll they'll realise that it's a bad idea. Was this guy too much, do you think? If he had stayed there, do you think he might have gone down the side? <laughs> ah, very nice. Oh, I see you see the play. <laughs> what an amazing play. I mean, I can't attack. I don't. I can't attack. I don't understand. Maybe I'm just shit. Like I don't want to get stalled out on, do I? to uh, find out more about these boobies. He's failed a dice roll. It's possible. It's actually possible. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's what I mean. You've got to force an early score. That's what I mean. You can't just let people score. Like, you can't just let people score. You've got to force an early score. I mean, that, that was my point. I never understand the let people score. You can't let people score. You have to force them to score. Unless, like, they're completely fucking raged. <laughs> That's a technical British term there for you. Raj means like stupid and that, doesn't it? Or mental. Raged. <laughs> Wild, crazy, or violent. There you go. Rowdy is also negative, really. Rowdy. It's just it's just Elliot not actually being rowdy makes it not look negative. I mean I am trying for the stop, but also I don't mind him trying to pass to this beast man. I'll spray paint your ass. <laughs> oh, very good elf. Well, how do I how do I allow the score then? How do I allow the score, Wolf Bark? How?
I wish I had a wizard. <laughs> Beastman scoring through is now hopefully going to get banged out. Maybe he can go down the side now and then. Well, now it's too late to let him score, isn't it? Couple of stunts. Stun warriors as well. Really annoying not to power this guy and use a reroll. It's horrendous. But something might happen next turn here. Yes, I uh, I hate three one zero in, in leagues as well. Hello, Kevin Jordan. Glorious to have you here. <laughs> Schedule. Funk and Steve are playing as well. This was really... Maybe I shouldn't have followed there. It gives him the chain out, doesn't it? Which he doesn't take. I guess it gives him an extra block as well. Yeah, two ones. Like, like football, which okay is nothing to do with blood ball, but football was two one zero for like centuries, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then when foot when TV came around, bloody Jimmy Hill thought of three one zero, and just because it's used in football. Which again is nothing to do with Blood Bowl. Everybody feels like it should be what it is for Blood Bowl. Which, if you ask me, is a bit stupid. Looks like I can't let him score now, doesn't it? He's just going to score whether I like it or not now. I didn't see the nonsensical thing, no. But I mean, I can imagine how dumb it was. Can't surf him, can I?
Yeah, I mean, I, I like that in football to stop boring games of football. <laughs> That makes it makes a lot of sense in oh my fucking god in televised games of football. It makes a lot of sense. I probably should have made safer plays there, shouldn't I? So I didn't I could have taken it ah oh, I don't know, I guess I'm fucked anyway now. Yeah, he might score now, yeah. Now that I'm absolutely fucked. And give us four turns with no rerolls. Safe moves in overtime, yeah. Yeah, like the disproportionate incentive, like that's good in football games, right? That's really good in football games that are televised, that, you know, there's there's kind of, there's a bit of a downside to pushing harder and stuff. But in Blood Bowl, it's, it's mental because the disadvantage of pushing is you're literally probably going to lose. You're not leaving, you're not leaving, you know, a counter-attack chance on. You're just probably going to lose if you go for the win. Like a lot of the time, if you go for the win, you're probably going to lose, which is which is not good. This was almost a, f a forcing the score, wasn't it? It's just that I used both three rolls to fucking get it done, and now somehow the guy without block has, who's made far more blocks, has two re rolls, and the guy with a team full of block, who's made less blocks, has no re rolls. Amazing. Well, yes, you can have overtime, couldn't you? Help. You could have overtime, and you could have overtime in leagues. The <laughs> three one zero does reward you for having that. Yeah. Oh, fuck off! And it's sunny as well to make it even harder. Well, hey, a removal! Woo! They do exist. Knockdowns as well. Really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a pass, so like here. Right, so pass next turn on a four without a reroll. <laughs> and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. Well, at least he's not pushing for the win. That makes things easier, I guess. Man, that kick though. Imagine if it'd been a touchback. If it's touched back, it's almost it's almost a win. Then.
This is fine, yeah, it doesn't look like a loss now, does it? The fact that he's taken the loss off the table. Ah, yeah, that's fair, Super G. Uh, to be fair, like, I didn't know it was used in tournaments at all. I just expected it to be used in leagues. And, like, pretty much every league that I've seen uses it just because... Just because football does. Seems to be the only real reason. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'd go up to there if I can. And it's a four plus pass because of the fucking sun. Oh dear. Idiotic. I guess I could have double geified, couldn't I? Yes, double GFI is better. But you can't die on a pass or get your armor broken on a pass. Even. So, there are benefits to it. You sadly done the right play of blitzing the blitzer. Biggest cock. <laughs> Biggest cock's a pretty good tiebreaker, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah, not a bad idea. That seems. <sighs> Opponent's score isn't obviously because the strength of schedule thing is is pretty shit because then you just get screwed by who you face. Like Honestly I'm not a fan of that either. I I'm not really happy with any kind of tiebreaker to be honest. So much is like, there's a lot of strength of schedule in Magic and it's just, it's just fucked. People who get buys are advantaged because they play less shit people, you know? Which is fucking terrible, isn't it? I've got no chance here, have I? Well, I've got a bit of a chance, I guess. So the fact that I've got a bit of a chance means I have to go for the tiny chance that I have. Which is blitzing him. I've got a fucking push. He's got no scoring chance whatsoever. This is what we have to do. Okay. <laughs> if it works for Rams, why not people? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Touchdowns plus passes, that's pretty good, Nick. That's pretty good. Completions. Yeah, the DACA tournament. Let's fucking go. <laughs> we all play for the draft. Oh dear. <laughs> that's, the, that's the real way. Like, it's funny because people say about how, like, how p people have said that there's, like, sexism in Blood Bowl, which is pretty stupid because there obviously isn't. It's just there's not that many girls like it, right? It just doesn't appeal to girls as much. But 
I guess that would be the real element of sexism. <laughs> Who's got the biggest cock? <laughs> Unlucky. No tiebreakers for you, love. <laughs> you don't have a chance. <sighs> right, he can he get chained? Three squares. Probably not. GG. I can just stand up. Can I? I guess he blitz. Oh, he can blitz him. Has he got guard? Yeah. Kaz? Kaz? I can't believe how little, little pain he took in this game. Like, I didn't make that many blocks, to be fair. And still roll two double skulls. In the second half. Fiddle. China from double double E. She might beat some people. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right. Oh god. 70k. He got on that thing. It still made more AV breaks. Still made 43 blocks. Felt like it didn't make hardly any. Got out bashed. Got out bashed despite making more blocks with all block. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Armor was really good though, despite someone getting cast. Twenty-four, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Thirty-three, thirty-four, twenty-two. So yeah, I had pretty shitty block dice. Starting the game with a 1 in 4,000 no knockdowns was pretty funny. So yeah, the draw, I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's much I could have done in that match. Maybe having a Troll Slayer would have helped. Definitely having that runner would have helped. I guess I should keep this runner for now. It's a bit rubbish though, isn't it? Two blockless guys. Could just sack him and have a loner. Not sure. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic.